Hi everybody, I'm Pia from Stitches and Scraps and today I want to show you how to do an almost invisible increase in single crochet. I've worked this swatch in single crochet and now I want to add some increases. The normal way to add an increase is to do multiple stitches into one stitch. So for example here I might do two single crochets into this stitch. And that's great, um, it works, but it is noticeable and it stretches this hole out a little bit more than for example this stitch, which is a normal stitch. You're not noticing that too much on this type of a swatch where my stitches are pretty gappy already. But suppose I was doing amigurumi, for example. Those stitches are much tighter, much closer together so that they can hold the stuffing in. And in a situation like that, a gap like this becomes a little bit more noticeable. So we want something that's a little bit more invisible for that kind of a project. Let me move over a couple of stitches to get away from the increase we just did. And I'm gonna show you a different type of increase that's a little bit more invisible. Instead of working our stitch directly into the stitch in the normal place, we're going to do the first stitch into the back loop only. Do you see on the top here, there's a front loop and a back loop. Let me zoom in here. This is the front loop and this here is the back loop. Okay, so we're going to work our first stitch into the back loop only, just like that. Now we work our second stitch into both loops. And what that does is it kind of tucks that extra stitch behind and it keeps us from stretching this hole out as much. When you look from the front, you can hardly notice that second stitch. Okay, let me finish this row and then I'll put it down and we can see it even more closely. So here is my first increase, which is pretty visible. And then here, right here, is my invisible increase, or almost invisible increase, which is much harder to see. And you can see from the front that this looks much more even and, and uniform. So this is the increase I tend to use when I'm doing projects where I don't want the increases to be noticeable. I've worked a couple more rows above my increases so that you could see the difference between the two. This one right here where you see the bigger gap, that is a traditional increase. That's where we work two stitches into the same stitch and you can see this gap is a little bit bigger than the gaps around it, okay? This one right here, you can see looks a lot more like the stitches around it. That is our almost invisible increase. So there's the stitch in front, there's the stitch in the back. So it's not completely invisible, but it, it does look a little bit closer to the stitches around it than a traditional increase does. Let's take a look from the back. This is what it looks like at the back. And again, you can see the bigger hole here. You can see the increase a little bit more here but it's not quite as bad as this one. So that's how you do an almost invisible single crochet increase. Thanks for watching.